Exquisite pearl necklaces have captivated connoisseurs for decades, but how are they made? Beyond a mere ocean gift, each pearl embarks on a year-long journey, from careful implantation to layers of shimmering knacker. A blend of nature and craftsmanship, this process holds a fascinating secret. Let's explore. Of the 800 plus oyster species, only a few produce quality pearls. In nature, just one in 10,000 forms a truly beautiful pearl, making natural pearls far more valuable than cultured ones. Pearls come in many colors, such as white, black, yellow, blue, pink, and purple. The color depends on the oyster species, the minerals in the water, and the living environment. Typically, Akoya, South Sea, and Tahitian pearls are among the most well-known varieties. Many people don't realize that freshwater mussels can live from 20 to 100 years, while saltwater mussels, often referred to as oysters when we talk about pearls, live from 10 to 30 years. Some wild European mussels have even been recorded to live over 250 years, demonstrating just how ancient and enduring some of these mollusks can be. This incredible lifespan is part of why certain pearls hold historical and cultural significance, having formed slowly over many decades in pristine environments. When a foreign object such as a small parasite or irritant attacks the pearl, the oyster does not repel it. Instead, the oyster secretes layers of nacre to cover the foreign object gradually turning it into a pearl over time. This is how beautiful pearls are formed naturally, one delicate layer at a time, building a lustrous surface. Ego Bay, in Mi Prefecture, has been the cradle of Japanese pearl cultivation since the 20th century, thanks to its clean water and stable salinity. There, they pour microalgae into the farming area, a natural food source that helps the oysters grow healthily and increases their ability to create pearls. For example, a single oyster might filter gallons of water daily, harvesting microscopic algae for nourishment, which in turn helps produce thicker nacre layers. Pearl culture involves stacking two pearls, or implanting two nuclei, and securing them with a net. This step helps maintain organization and ensures the pearls remain safely housed in their respective oysters. The idea is to allow each oyster to continue layering nacre around the nucleus without losing it into the surrounding water. When the oysters reach a large enough size, they are released into the sea to grow naturally. The marine environment, with its balance of nutrients, temperature, and water flow, helps the nacre layer become thicker and shinier, creating high-quality pearls. In some regions, farmers will strategically place the nets at varying depths to optimize light and temperature conditions. By doing so, they can maximize both the oyster's health and the eventual luster of the pearls. Throughout the farming process, which lasts from 12 months to two years, farmers must regularly check the oysters, usually every two to three months, to remove parasites such as barnacles or seaweed. They also clean the farming trays to maintain the best living conditions. Practical examples include rinsing shells in seawater to remove debris or gently brushing away invasive algae that can block an oyster's access to nutrients. The pearl harvesting process begins when the oysters are two to four years old, 
At this stage, the pearl is typically well-formed, and its nacre layers have had enough time to create a lustrous surface. People clamp each oyster firmly and gently open the shell. Then, they use specialized tools to separate the tissue and carefully remove the pearls to avoid damage. In some farms, magnifying equipment is used to ensure the harvesters do not injure the oyster's vital organs, thereby preserving the oyster's chance to produce another pearl. If the oyster is still healthy, it can continue to be implanted with new nuclei to grow pearls next time. This sustainable practice allows farmers to cultivate multiple pearls from the same oyster, although the first pearl is often considered the highest quality. The first step in pearl extraction is to carefully separate the pearl tissue using a specialized tool. After removal, the pearls are cleaned, polished, and graded according to size, color, and luster before being used as jewelry. For instance, pearls might be categorized into AA, AAA, or even higher grades reflecting their surface quality and luminosity. The most perfect pearls are crafted into expensive necklaces that are both luxurious and sophisticated. These timeless pieces are sought after worldwide, from high-end fashion runways to heirloom collections passed down through generations. As for the pearl meat, it will be for the nimble hands to skillfully cut the meat from the clamshell, separate the meat for processing, and keep the shell for other purposes. Many coastal communities consider pearl oyster meat a delicacy, and the shells can be repurposed for decorative inlays or mother-of-pearl accents on various crafts and musical instruments. From careful cultivation to strict selection, each pearl embodies nature's beauty. Only the finest become high-end jewelry, symbolizing elegance and luxury. The multi-step journey of these gems, from a tiny implanted nucleus to a shimmering statement piece, remains a testimony to both the wonders of marine life and the dedication of those who cultivate it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.